the Amazon stuff was real. They came with a mighty offer to Sean, and he said it there. If Aaron Donald isn't coming back, maybe he does do the TV. Um, he thought about it long and hard and decided he wasn't going to abandon Matt Stafford. He wasn't going to abandon uh, Aaron Donald. And they're going to try to win more than one. They're going to try to win two, and who knows beyond that. So Sean McVay, a man who considered, according to Schrager, who did a podcast with him, knows him very well, flying coach. See that tan on Peter? Super, super tan. I mean, Peter looks. That's a glow, John. Touched by the. Touched that by the is, I just, I just went to Florida for a week or something. The white tee looks a lot better. I Hell he should have yeah. gone V-neck. I don't know why he didn't he go should've. V-neck. Yeah, I know. Uh, but that's a guy who knows Sean McVay very, very well. Saying Sean McVay thought long and hard about Amazon's offer. Now, does that mean Sean McVay is going to be gone in five years? I don't know, but he considered Amazon's offer. Well, you would say that he just doesn't have a standing offer from places that he used to, right? You would say Kirk Herbstreit is somewhat of a placeholder. You would mention this, and then I was in the car yesterday, and he was on with McAfee, and you were right. Like, he's still going to do college game day and the game at night, which understandable that they're he's not they're not like the company, no carryover. Like, it's not like he's working for Fox and he's doing – it makes sense, but also like – I thought if they're paying fifteen million dollars, wouldn't be like, I've done this for twenty years, I'm over it. But he's still doing it, which to me is a little crazy. Uh, which also maybe just I get so much money, I'll try it out. But I I feel like I'm a college guy. You would say ESPN now is set, right? Those guys are entrenched. Like the Monday Night Football is not moving, right? With Joe Buck and Troy Aikman, that right. job is no longer a a moving revolving door. Right. You would say Sunday Night Football, you know. Collinsworth's getting up there, right? He's not he's not a lock to do. I would say over under three, four more years. And and then back to the Thursday night thing is Herbie doesn't feel like he's just on scholarship for five years. If you told me Herbie only does it a couple of years, that's believable. So that the, the opportunities might not go away for Sean. Because what what would you just if you just had a ballpark guess like Amazon threw up the number to him? Well, it had to start. I mean, what's he making to be the Rams coach? I think he wasn't making as much as he's making now, like maybe ten, eight, ten million dollars. Okay, which is a lot. Which is a lot. Obviously. Romo is making seventeen million dollars. Yeah, Aikman's in that range. So I'm Sean McVay, the coach of the Rams. Romo was retired. Well, I guess Romo didn't make seventeen till like year two, and Aikman. They did have to get Aikman away from Fox. But how could you come to Sean? I don't think you could offer Sean less than. Twenty million dollars a year. I agree. What, well, do you, have, what would you, what would you all if you said, "All right, John, you're in charge of Amazon Sports. We have to make Sean McVay an offer that he's gonna. We have to. We can't come in at six million dollars and have him blow us off and think we're a joke." Yeah, what I mean, would you I, say I, your offer is? I I think a number because you wouldn't. You know, if you've never done television, even if you know you'd be good, like, are you giving him like eight nine year deals? Would he even want that? What if I just said, "Hey, Sean." Five years, $100 million. Obviously, in this business, everything's guaranteed. And you're like, wait, $20 million a year? I just do TV, and this right. thing is wearing me out. I it's over a million care. dollars a week, a game, right? It's like, you know you know that house you have in Malibu? You can keep that. But you could also get a place in Vegas where you stay a little bit so you don't even pay any taxes. And you can look like Schrager. You can spend all your time <laughs> by the pool. You, Sean, you can do whatever you want. Bezos, you know, he's got that yacht the size of California. He said he'll take you out on that thing. You know, Bezos is your new boss. So now you, you're good buddies with Kroenke and you're good buddies with Bezos. Now, I don't know if Kroenke would have been happy if he would have taken off, but I don't think people quite comprehend. It, whenever I see, I saw Jimmy Trania say like, wait till everyone's trying to figure out where Amazon Prime is. Like every single human I know has Amazon Prime. This isn't even five years ago. Like the game has changed. Here's the other thing. My 70 year old mom can't figure it out. Do you know who does not give a shit? Bezos. Amazon ain't in the ratings business like CBS, ABC, and NBC, right? He does not, whether 7 million people watch the first Thursday night game, 4 million people, like he'll know, he'll have the data. What does that matter to him? Like, remember when he bought Whole Foods and everyone's like, what is he doing? And now it's like, whenever I order something from Amazon, it's like, oh, I'm going to take it back. Where do you, I drop it off at Whole Foods. <laughs> you know, it's like, he clearly, they, they, they know what they're doing. It's all line items on each other. I, I just don't think, he has so much money. I think he's going to make everyone uncomfortable in the business for a while, assuming that Herb Street's not there long term. Like I, I, 
to me, this might not go away. Like, if you told me that he's back talking to Sean McVay, or I know it's not Bezos specifically, but whoever his boss is, I think he stole a guy away from Fox to, like, run their operation. Maybe it was NFL Network. Um, I, yeah, I mean, if you told me that they're back sniffing around in a couple of years, just because to me, by that point, Sean is so rich and famous and stuff. It's more just like the lifestyle. And if Sean's interested and- in the lifestyle, he can offer him something pretty special. Yeah, and to me, that's kind of the point here is that Sean considered it. Now, to your like you're saying, someone throws a hundred million dollars in front of you. I mean, to and to work way f- less. Like part of it eat- is like he works so much. I remember, I don't know if Schrager said this or I saw it on a, maybe someone wrote in an article about McVay. One thing that when he first got hired, the Demoff guy, like six months into his job, he's like, Sean, y- you need to relax a little bit. In terms of like, he asked him, "What time do you get to the office?" Like, what, what do you? And he just saw how hard Sean was working. He's like, "I don't know if you're going to last at this pace." Yeah. And Sean, Sean basically told him, "Like, this is the only way I know how to do it." Like, there's Andy Reid now isn't working less than he did 20 years ago. Like, he's just you're in a routine, your job, you just know how to do it. And the thing with the NFL, because there's such like uh, nervous energy about your competition, that's what drives you. Like, you can't sleep. You're like, what if my opponent is working? You know, it's not most jobs you're trying to make money or do the deal for yourself, maybe your company, but you're not worried about, like, like a legitimate one other human is outworking you, right? There's, like, this other team that you have to play that Sunday. It freaks these guys out, and they can't. It's, it's, it's why Kyle looks like shit. Now, it might have been vodkas, but... <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> I mean, guys, they, they haven't played a game in a month and a half. And that, doesn't he look like he's on a three-game losing streak? He, he's in Florida. <laughs> the coffee's not big enough. I, I, When I hear the McVeigh thing, I think not that McVeigh's about to dial it back and won the championship and now he's going to work 20% less hard or 10% less hard or whatever. I wonder if in the back of his mind he goes, okay, now I know I can go, ex- I can go just as hard as I've always gone try to win this next championship but there's i also know what's out there next for me right if i'm him i'm telling my wife or fiance whichever are they married uh married weddings this this summer gotcha like babe give me like five more years three more years let me try and win another championship with stafford i'm gonna go hard but after that i promise we're gonna dial it back i'm gonna make 25 a year i'm gonna work 18 weeks out of the year plus every four years i'll do the super bowl we'll be good to go you know i think when you have that carrot dangling out there you can you can for a short period. It's like when you're uh, doing a workout and you know it's timed. You know, my last two minutes of like a workout are good because I can see the finish line. And I wonder if Sean McVay is looking at a finish line right now that he kind of knows what's out there. I don't know. I don't know. But I, 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 I do wonder, too, that once he wins it <clears throat> and people in his ear are like, bro, you got a chance in the next couple of years. Like there's a bit there's a lot of guys that have won one. Yeah, and obviously there's only a couple that won the four or five. But if you can just get that, like Bill Parcells when we were kids was an absolute legend. He didn't win four or five or six. He just had the two. <laughs> can you imagine just being two time Super Bowl champion, Sean yep. McVay? And he's got his core guy. I mean, the most important guy. He's under contract for the next four years. I do wonder, you know, if I'm Stafford, like, hey, you know, I'm signing a pretty, you know, relatively team friendly deal. We're all winning here. Are you gonna be here the whole time, Sean? Like, I. I I, it's not like I'd leave. Where else am I going to go? But like, I, could you stay here? <laughs> you 